Hey guys, so today we're here at Martian Gears. They're well known for their very comfortable gaming chairs as you can see around here. But that's not what we're going to talk about today. We are here to talk about their new release which is the cockpit. This is their new gaming setup that's really meant for serious gamers out there. But at the same time, I know it looks huge, but it kind of fits into most usual desk setups. It's about 2.1 meters tall when it's open and 1.6 meters when it's closed. So it's not that huge actually. And as you can see, um, for my size comparison, it's pretty comfortable to just sit in. I'm a pretty big guy and this is very comfortable. So we have a few control buttons over here that we can control the entire cabin. So first button of course is to close everything and it happens with a touch of a button. And you see that the screens come down, the keyboard tray turns in and I'm immersed in this whole gaming setup. So this is a pretty cool experience. For those of you who have never tried this, um, it really feels like you're in an entire cockpit and this is especially good for games like uh, Flight Simulator or like F1 Racing, you know, or even just FPS games, you know. Apart from that, there's a couple of other things we can do with the control buttons over here. Um, first of all, let's talk about the legs, start from the bottom up. So the legs, we have the pedal riser. So if you can see my legs right at the bottom, you can raise the pedal up. So this is very good for height adjustability, depending on how tall or short you are. This feels very comfortable over here. And next up, we also can adjust the height of the screens and monitors. So you can raise the arm independently or you can lower it depending on where you want it to be. And next up, we can adjust the keyboard tray as well. So if you want to just open it up all the way, uh, just in case you know you want to cross your legs or something, sit a bit more comfortably, that's also doable. And last of all, we have this thing called Zero Gs, which basically reclines the whole setup and you get a very immersive experience. This is very good for like watching movies or just, you know, if you're late night doing some work and you want to relax, this is, whew, this is pretty far back. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely not something for gaming exactly, but definitely very comfortable to just sit back and watch your movies or shows. Now, Martian Gear has brought this into Singapore and made it at an affordable cost. Uh, there's also installment plans, a two-year warranty, and if you order from their website, they can deliver it the next day with assembly in your home. So that's pretty good. What I want to show you next is their partnership with Dreamcore. So Dreamcore has kindly set up a PC here for all the gaming and everything. Um, they can add this onto the package of this entire rig, so that's an option for you. And as well, we also have Red Bull Gaming that's uh, part of their marketing uh, and promotional aspects of this whole setup. So very nice and comfortable. This isn't included by the way, but it's just very comfortable to just reach over and you know, grab a can of Red Bull uh, and have some snacks along the way. So this is really an entire setup just for gaming and I would say entertainment as well. So here we have it. I'm just going to close this down to show you guys the outside. We have the three monitors set up at the moment. Of course, you can use like an ultra wide or any other configuration. The weight limit goes up to 24 kilograms. And not only that, you can also input all your USBs on the side here. So along the side of the handle, we have some USB ports over here. Um, so it makes it convenient for you to wire your mouse or your keyboards directly into here and to the PC. Now, Above here, we have the main arm. This arm also is where you hide all your cable management, your HDMI or display cables. So that's where it goes all into the monitors, keeping the whole setup pretty neat. Um, you might be wondering what's this on the side. This is the smaller version of this cockpit. So this is almost half the price. Because it's half the price, it has some limitations. The keyboard thing, it's a bit more manual. Uh, it's a lot more smaller but it can take up to the same amount of monitors. So this might be a viable option for you guys as well. All right, so we've got Flight Simulator on. Uh, I've never played this game before, but we're going to try. So throttle uh, and brakes released. It's actually pretty cool. I'm not very used to the cockpit view because you're on one side, but okay. Is it that easy to take off? How do pilots see in this view? It's like you just see the sky. Which way is Australia? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, shit. Whoa, okay. This is, this is pretty cool. All right, should I try landing? All right, we are heading into Changi Airport. Ah! Okay. Um, no, the other way, the other way. All right, here we go. Nice and easy. Oh, no! Oh, sh oh, no, 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 oh, sh shit. 
Okay, I'm gonna cheat and use this view. <laughs> All right, so so it's definitely a very immersive experience. You have the whole um, view panoramic around you. Um, you can still see all your controls, kind of. I'm not very good at this game, but all in all, I think this really works well. Let's go to try another game for a second. All right, so we're gonna try another game right now. This is a bit more of a racing game. Um, yeah, this is something at least I know how to do a bit better. Very nice to see the whole peripheral vision. It's definitely a lot more interesting than playing on one screen. I think the point of having multiple screens is definitely not to use all of them, but sort of to add to that um, immersiveness. But it also helps with the whole peripheral vision. Uh, I feel a lot more in tune with what I'm doing and uh, the environment around me. Feels like I'm getting a lot more out of the game. I can really see myself using this at home. Uh, like I said, it isn't much bigger than a desk. So if you're someone that usually just plays games at home, this is something you might want to consider uh, instead of getting an entire table uh, that you might not even use. But that being said, it is definitely the next level. Uh, something that your friends will definitely envy you for. And uh, wow, this is a new level of gaming enjoyment. So all the information you can find it on the Martian Gears website. Uh, and of course, if you have any questions, do leave it in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer them. But if not, I'm going to get back to my game. And thanks for watching, guys. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.